Hi everyone, uh, today's video is a how I achieve these sort of big, bouncy, stretched, loose curl type things uh, using curl formers. So I used these. <laughs> I use the uh, medium one. I have actually got the long and narrow ones as well, but they both work pretty well. I would say that the longer narrow ones are better if your hair is wet or if you have a really tight curl. So I've got type 4A, 4A, B, C, Z hair. Just I've got all the type 4s basically. My hair is a mixture of textures. And I like using the uh, longer narrow ones when I need to get my hair like really, really, really stretched without using any heat at all because I'm going heat free for this year. So I haven't straightened my hair since I think October, uh, October of last year. And um, that's been really good. So I guess I'll update you guys in December about how that went. And so yeah, so I would say these, they're pretty good curl formers. However, they are quite expensive. I think, if I remember correctly, they're between 40. <coughs> Pardon me. They're between 40 and 45, 46 pounds, if I remember correctly. And I mean, if, if you compare it to the price of a hair straightener, that's not that expensive. But I would say that I have actually lost the problem with these in action. So I'm really impatient when I'm using these. You, you have this um, wand, which is called the wand. You have a wand, basically, and you thread the curl formula through the wand like so obviously your hair would be in that hook there and sometimes when you put it through it doesn't go through or go through halfway and get stuck in the the sort of threads of the material basically and my hair has gotten stuck in it so many times i think i've lost about uh i think i've lost two of the long and narrow ones i've ended up having to cut my hair out of them and i've lost two ones or one wand i can't remember i think i've lost i've lost quite a lot of stuff basically trying to get this stuff through my hair um so i would say you need uh quite a bit of time maybe about an hour um tops so it doesn't take that long but you do need the patience to be able to thread it through without ripping out all of your hair and um you'll probably need a spray bottle of water you will need some moisturizer whatever moisturizer works best for you a holding product that's one thing I do regret. I didn't use very much holding product on my hair, so I know this will fall, but I don't mind too much because I'll just be wearing my hair in a bun or in some sort of, uh, some sort of updo. So this is mainly for me is just to get my hair stretched as possible without heat. I don't want to use a blow dryer. I mean, it's hot outside, it's summer. Who wants to be blow drying their hair in this heat? So if you would like to see what I did to achieve this then keep watching and thank you so much for your really lovely comments on my first video <laughs> um they really really made my day so thank you so much for the warm welcome to youtube and yeah i guess like comment subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know what else you would like to see on this channel because i'm really trying to push it i'm going to try and do as many hair tutorials and um other things with vlogs or whatever um as i can so yes thank you so much again and yeah keep watching
Yeah.